In this presentation, we will study half-wave symmetric signals. A signal xt is said to be half-wave symmetric if it is equal to minus x inside the bracket t plus minus t by 2. This is the condition for half-wave symmetry where xt is the original signal and we can obtain minus x t plus minus t by 2 by performing time shifting and amplitude reversal capital T is the period capital T is the time period of signal xt and t by 2 is the half time period when we add t by 2 to t the whole waveform will shift to the left by t by 2 and this is the case of time advance time advance and when we subtract t by 2 from t the whole waveform will shift to the right by t by 2 and this is the case of time delay time delay in order to find out whether signal xt is half wave symmetric or not we only have to perform one out of time advance and time delay there is no need to perform time advance and time delay both you can perform either of them so in step number one in step number one we will perform time shifting the original signal is xt and after performing the time shifting the time shifting the new signal is x inside the bracket t plus minus t by 2 and as i have already explained you you can perform either t plus t by 2 or t minus t by 2 you can add t by 2 or subtract t by 2 in step number 2 in step number 2 we will perform amplitude reversal and the signal on which we will perform the amplitude reversal is xt plus minus t by 2 the signal we have obtained in step number 1 so signal is xt plus minus t by 2 and after performing the amplitude reversal the amplitude reversal we have minus x t plus minus t by 2 and if this signal is same as xt we can say that signal xt is half wave symmetric signal let's try to understand this by the help of one example in this example in this example the original signal is xt this is the waveform of signal xt and in the second step we will perform time shifting and the signal after time shifting is xt plus t by 2 here i'm adding t by 2 the half time period to time t and if you see the waveform of signal xt you will find this is the fundamental time period of signal xt and if this is the fundamental time period this will be the half time period t by 2 in this case we have fundamental time period you can also take other time periods which are not fundamental now we will perform the time shifting in which we will shift the signal to the left by t by 2 this is the waveform after completing step number one in step number two we will perform the amplitude reversal and in case of amplitude reversal we fold the waveform about the x-axis here x-axis is time axis so we will fold this waveform about the time axis we are folding this waveform about the time axis because in step number two we performed amplitude reversal on this signal and the final signal will be minus x inside the bracket t plus t by 2 if you compare the waveform of signal minus x t plus t by 2 and waveform of signal x t you will find they are same so x t is equal to minus x t plus t by 2 so the condition of half wave symmetry is satisfied in this case so signal x t is a half wave symmetric signal I will end this lecture with one note this is very important point regarding the half wave symmetrical signals half wave symmetric signals have the average value equal to zero the average value of half wave symmetric signals is equal to zero but vice versa is not true this means 
If average value is equal to zero, then the signal may or may not be half wave symmetric. But if signal is half wave symmetric, the average value is always equal to zero. This is all for this lecture. See you in the next one.